Dan, we're upstairs, it's party at the park. Caddy Cooper's playing outside just now, in here with Tim and Wayne from Baby Howl. They've just stepped off the inflatable stage. Uh, lads, how did it go? Had a great good. time, I yeah. enjoyed it. Good. Yeah, good crowd, nicest weather. Yeah, it's happening, it's good. It is quite a good crowd out there, isn't it? I mean, what's it like for a band like yourselves, uh, bringing your music to maybe people who are eating picnics? What's that like? Yeah, a lot of our music's quite chilled anyway, so I think that kind of suits the atmosphere quite well. Um, yeah, it's just got a really nice vibe to it, so we feed off them, and hopefully they feed off us a little bit too. Yeah, literally feed off. Yeah. <laughs> Snacking away on the drums. Feed off. Did, was, did, was there any food exchanged? From no, the luckily, no, no, no. <laughs> no. It'd be a good bartering system, though, wouldn't it? Maybe yeah, yeah. yeah, no tomatoes. <laughs> so, um, Bracknell Boys, uh, you've just re released a new EP, is that right? Uh, we're no. currently recording some new stuff. We, yeah. we released last year, uh, Coalescent, uh, okay. and we've, we've added a couple more tracks since then. Uh, we've got a video in the works for one of our songs, Wake Up, uh, which we'll play in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's you've like recorded it here, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, Southall Park Studios. Yeah, Al Heslop did the uh, production for us. Yeah. Awesome job. Yeah, it's a good lad. So, kind of, being a band from Bracknell, where do you learn your craft around here? Where do you, where do you, where do you go to play? Your bedroom. The bedroom, that's it. <laughs> yeah, literally. Seriously. Yeah, you learn in your bedroom. Well, that's what I did. I don't know about. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, weirdly, I started my music here. I had classical lessons with um, Alan Waits, who used to run some guitar, classical guitar teaching here. So this is where it all began for me, musically. But yeah, I kind of school bands, stuff like that. And if you're the same, play bands at school and then. Yeah, and then. So w where do you kind of go now? I mean, so you're in here, the obvious next step is to try and move yourselves into like London. I mean, there's loads of stuff happening there. Yeah, yeah, London would be great, we've done, had a few there. Yeah, we've done a few gigs in London. But what have we got Fiddler's coming Elbow. up? We've got Fiddler's Elbow we did, Camden. O2, places like Islington, that. Islington, Camden, yeah. Spice of Life. The O2? O2 Academy. The O2 Academy, uh, not the big yeah. dome. Yeah, yeah, when, when, we, yeah, yeah, yeah when we've advertised yeah. people like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Reel them in. That was good. Yeah, we've got the comedy, um, the comedy pub coming up. Yeah, in not a few club. weeks time. Not club, pub, comedy pub. When you're playing at somewhere like this, though, as opposed to a small, intimate venue, maybe in Camden or something like mm. that, uh, do you change much about what you do? Hmm, no, not really. Um, no, we sort of play the set as it is, don't we? And we. I guess it always sounds different depending on who your sound engineers are and you're playing yeah. outdoors mm. and the engineers are kind of mixing for that situation so you get a different feel from it. Uh, bigger sound I guess, whereas smaller yeah. venues we tend to get a bit, we well, go one way or the other, we get a bit raw or we get yeah, loud yeah, it can be a little or we can end up bringing it right down. Yeah. We've done a few sort of um, acoustic duo yeah. recently so that's been a completely different. Writing wise, business. how's it work with, with, with you? I mean. Is it, is, it, is, it a, is it a one man situation or do you kind uh, of do it together? This is, the, this is the time in the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> really? This is kind of just sort of jamming in on the acoustic. But yeah, they kind of, they were like a skeleton of songs. Um, and we went into rehearsal rooms and kind of shaped them up. Yeah, we all had our own flavours too. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah, Wayne's the songsmith, he puts the, the lyrics in there. And yeah, the bare bones, as you say. Yeah. In the, it has changed sometimes as well, isn't it? The bones have been taken out and and other ones have been put in, haven't they? So yeah, yeah. So lineup changes and you know, yeah, yeah. That's different musicians out there, not take. Too. What's next for the rest of the summer then? What have you got on? Have you got more more gigs around here? At Wakingham Festival coming up on the twenty yeah. eighth. Yeah, twenty eighth. Uh, we've got Ox Jam Festival, so that's for the Ox Jam course. That's so Halloween. Yeah, October thirty first. Halloween at the Royal Oak. Yeah, in Bracknell. Um, and then there's possibility of some touring going on um, towards the, the end, that half of the year. Amazing. Um, sort of waiting to hear when that, how that yeah. will go. That'll be good. In the works. Cool. Yeah. All that's good. In the meantime, we'd like to get some more recording done, I think, and get some more tracks down, and the more you can get out there, the more people yeah, go here. So. Perfect. Uh, well, you're going to play some tracks for us right now. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to have a crack at Wake Up, yep. which is a song that we've recorded uh, the video coming out we've got the video coming out oh oh quickly video wise what we took what's happening on the video how do you translate the song that you've written that you've performed many times then into uh, something that you hopefully is going to go be shared 
you know. It was over a beer, wasn't it? Over a beer yeah. with uh, with a guy who filmed it for us. Robert Kelly. Um, yeah. he's, he's shooting the video for us. Um, creatively, artistically, it's a kind of in his hands, isn't it? He storyboarded yeah. some we, ideas for us. We're in it, not acting yeah. or anything. You know, we kind of playing. Spoke to him about what the uh, song was about. Uh, we kind of had ideas back and forth, but same again. He's kind of gone along with the story of the song, but he's had his own sort of little bits in there. So, um, yeah, that was over a beer, um, bit of a, about an hour conversation, and off he went. Yeah, that's and kind of done his business. At the moment, yeah. so. How many musical decisions are made over a beer? Hmm, most. <laughs> <laughs> most of them, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, Sounds yeah. like a good line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, excited to hear it. Yeah, whenever you're ready, guys, really. Thank you very much. Well done. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. No worries.